See, if I would have done this at two o'clock in the morning in the in the room that I almost rented in Asbury for a, my money to have a room in the basement, um, I'm sure I would have had the other people living there complaining because there was no other musicians living there. The only place I'd actually live with, with a bunch of people is if they were all like the musicians and artists, honestly. Because because then it's kind of like you all kind of understand each other and you you. you but when people don't understand you and you try to you try to you know move into a place where 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 nobody really knows what an artist is and all of a sudden the artist is labeled as as uh, manic or or schizo or or this or that or the other thing they want to label you so they can give you a pill so that your your artistic creativity is pulled out of your fucking butthole body and, and thrown away and then you can focus back on what you should be focusing on which is what going to work. Right? Paying your bills, uh, eating dinner, and then going to sleep and doing the same thing every day for the fucking rest of your life until you're dead. Because why? It's too expensive not to, right? And who did that? <laughs> Thank the world class. Thank you, world class. We love you. We can't wait to be wealthy just like you. Yeah, never.